What's up, y'all? Today is an awesome day because today is an unboxing. What are you doing? Um, unboxing? That's not how we're doing this. Why not? Bro, you're so extra. For the past few weeks, we've been having all this stuff shipped to my house, and I'm telling you, Harry is just chomping at the bit to get into these. But what come are on, you come on. doing? I'm tired of wasting time. Let's get to That's it, man. That's not how it works. It goes like this. Hey, all right, man. Let's go. Knives out. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Let me see this. Look at that. Dude, this is really nice. So this is the day I've been waiting for for a real long time. Uh, Jesse's been holding out on me, wanting to film an episode for basically the unboxing. So now I get to kind of explain to Jesse what some of this is. Basically, we've got your time kit, We've got the flex plate. We've got the dress up kit, the intake manifold, which is beautiful. Um, the push rods, the rockers, and the camshaft. Now, the camshaft is the Mac Daddy. It's the heart and soul of an engine. Uh, for the engine nerds out there, this has a 510 duration for uh, intake and exhaust. And then at 50 thousandths, it's gonna have 224 on intake and 224 on exhaust with 110 lobe separation. That's good, right? It's gonna be a nasty engine. It's gonna breathe nasty. well, it's gonna get down the road well. It's gonna have some low end power, but in the big van, that's what we want. Right. And it's gonna thump. I like thump. All right, let's, uh, I wanna show a couple things on this engine and we'll go from there. If you haven't seen our other episodes, we've been using a mock-up engine to basically mock up what it's, how it's gonna sit in the, in the step van. I'm pretty persnickety, and this is probably an overkill thing to do, but I wanted to make sure that the engine set properly and fit properly. One thing I've been really wanting to do is set the intake manifold on it and just get an idea of what this thing will look like. So uh, let's head over to the shop and start building the engine. Welcome to my office here at Mercedes-Benz of Northwest Arkansas. You're looking at the big block 454 that we've been mentioning this entire time. This is the whole genesis of the entire project. Yeah, this is where it all started. Harry uh, called me one day and said, you're not gonna believe what I found. This might be a little bit crazy, but I think we could stuff this in that van. And, uh, you know, that's where, that is the genesis. That's yeah. where it started. That's where the crazy idea took root and uh, one of the things that's been really awesome is as we've started this process, people have started to reach out to us to offer some help. Um, I've had people that have, you know, texted me or emailed or called and said, hey, I've got, I've got this little part, I've got this, do you need that? And one of those things is uh, an old friend of mine, Jeff, he contacted me and said, hey, I, I saw in your first episode that y'all are gonna be putting a 454 in this thing. Do you need a 454? And I said, well, you know, we already have one, but what's going on? He said, well, I've got one. I pulled out of my old crew cab and, uh, you know, it was a good running 454 and he made us a, a really great deal on it. So I went ahead and picked that up because what we're going to do with it is we got tons of brackets, accessory brackets and things like that. We got valve covers, uh, oil pan, uh, we got a harmonic balancer, just a whole mess of small parts and things that uh, we're gonna need throughout this process that we didn't acquire with this. Uh, it's gonna save us a lot of bucks, and then honestly, I mean, we've got a good running 454 for the next project, I'm just saying. So, But I have no idea necessarily what we're doing here today. I'm gonna need Harry to explain that to you. After weeks of waiting, it's finally time to jump into the engine rebuild, my favorite part of restoring a vehicle. The engine build is pretty straightforward. I started off by making sure everything was nice and clean. 
I used a plastic brush and brake clean to clean off some of the surface rust that had occurred. After drying everything off, it was time to install the heads to the block. With one head installed, I started putting in the head bolts. I applied some thread locker and used an impact gun to meet the head of the bolt to the surface of the engine, just to save time. Afterwards, I torqued each bolt to spec. This is a critical step for ensuring proper compression. With one side down, it was on to the next. After both heads installed, it was time to install the camshaft. I applied a tremendous amount of assembly grease and spun it into place. With the camshaft installed, I started test fitting and installing the timing gear set. I hammered on the crankshaft sprocket first and then I installed the camshaft sprocket with the chain. With the major part of the valve train installed, I started installing the push rods and rocker arms. With the build finally complete, we attached our gold painted valve covers, oil pan, and timing chain cover. Then it was time to load up and deliver it back to American Estates for its final paint job. We taped off the primary air passages for the engine and got everything ready for paint. And you know we had to go with gold. And just like that, we got ourselves a rebuilt engine. Dude, I'm stoked on how this turned out. I know, I know. This turned out a thousand times better than That's I awesome. thought. It's like a golden block from heaven. Golden block from heaven. I think it kind of looks like C3PO. Maybe like a C454PO. Except it doesn't complain. It just wants to run. That Star Wars joke. Uh-huh. Yeah, Star Wars. Well, so what's next? Man, we're gonna be sliding this thing into the van. The next time y'all see this, we're gonna be firing it up in the van, hopefully with no problems. So then, what, onto roasting tires? Yep. That's what I'm looking forward to. Well, like and subscribe to see what happens next.